nice to have a run around the old deck. Yeah, it's, uh, I haven't been out here for a while, so um, it's very nice to get back on the other side where I played, played my, my college, college football. So, yeah, brought back some good memories from, from my time at school. Over the last few years, Gold Coast were up and coming side. Did you expect their rapid improvement this season? Um, yeah, yes and no. Um, they were, we played them last year and they were a really tough side. I think we won by four or five goals in the end, but they were showing really quick signs of improvement. Um, and then this year they've been playing exceptional football. Um, they're really coming of age quick, very quick, so um, they're very skillful side, um, they run hard, they're very clean and um, they've got a lot of talent up there that they've been building, so um, yeah, they're a very dangerous side. They've been leading the way, sorry, they've been leading the way with contested possession this year, have you sort of, uh, have you guys taken a bit out of, out of what they've been able to do? Yeah, we definitely looked at them, um, we've, we've uh, taken notice of how well they're playing and they're really knocking over a lot of sides and they sit pretty high on the ladder, so um, yeah, I think we're, we're very conscious about them. Dangerfield uh, obviously going to be playing a little bit wounded this week if he does get up. Yeah, I think he's a bit sore at the moment, but um, by the end of the week I think it's still um, Sunday to Sunday game, so I think he's got plenty of time to recover. And I think um, Danger usually plays a bit banged up from, from that's just the way he plays, so he plays through it and he usually plays pretty well, so I'm pretty confident he'll be fine. How do you find that uh, four quarter consistency? Yeah, it's a, uh, a bit frustrating at the moment with how we're playing. Um, we have a bit of lapses here and there that that really hurt us and uh, especially on the scoreboard and our pressure around the ball sort of drops off a bit so um, I think we, we can, we've shown it against Collingwood that we can do it for four quarters so it's just a matter of doing that week in week out and we can, we can take it up to any side in the league really. What came out of the review um, this week? Uh, just a bit of inconsistency, the same kind of, kind of issues. Um, I th we did play some really good football as well. Um, we took a, um, a few good notes out of that and um, yeah, it's just that, the main thing is just that inconsistency. Is it easy to move on from it because it sort of keeps recurring if you sort of felt like it had moved on after Collingwood game? Is it hard to move on? Yeah, it's, it? it's, uh, it's hard to, uh, to a point. Um, we sort of we have to move on because that's footy these days so we have to really start looking forward to, to Gold Coast and um, how we're going to play against them. So uh, yeah, but it is frustrating um, that it keeps happening and definitely something that we've been, we've been talking about. You've been quite an adaptable player this week. You, last week you were playing loose man in defence. How did you find that? Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a, a tough job. Uh, you've got to be able to read the play and, and move up the ground as, as the ball goes up. And um, yeah, so this week they didn't let Brody Smith was playing that pretty well in, in recent weeks. So they they sort of went to him a bit. So I uh, got the chance to to play that role, and um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was it was good. I just try to play my play for my role for the team each week. You've been in good form you know, this whole year. How do you sort of balance the disappointment of uh, the inconsistency of the team with, you know, you've been playing really good football yourself? Um, obviously, I, I want to win and I want to um, eventually play finals this year and um, that's my main, my main goal. I just go out there each week and try to play my role for the team, uh, whatever Sando says, where I've played up forward and in the midfield and, and down back at times. So it's just a matter of me executing my role and then um, helping, out, helping out my teammates as well, especially in defence with helping out my teammates. So, yeah, I just, I just want to win. So that's the, that's the main goal. What's the feedback been from Sando for you personally? Yeah, um, yeah it's, been, uh, it's been good. Um, I spoke to Darren Milburn and stuff, all my line coach each week, and they give me points to work on and they give me points that I did well, so um, I think they've been relatively happy though. Follow the Crows on Twitter at Adelaide underscore FC. Use the hashtag GoCrows in your footy tweets. And follow our players too. Like me. Follow me at Daniel Talia 12. At 11M Wright. Follow me at Sam Jacobs 24. No, follow me, RJ Douglas, 26. Follow me at Tomo05. I'm flat out on Twitter. <laughs>